How's it going guys? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to get ceiling lights in a ceiling where you have no attic access because there's a second story over our heads right now. So basically the only way you're gonna be able to run wire up is gonna be by drilling through a ton of drywall. So um, if you're gonna have to drill through a ton of drywall, basically the question is how do you do it in a way that's gonna be easy to patch? And so what I did is I took this guy, which is just a faceplate for a wall outlet that used to be there. Um, and I was able to get some access behind the uh, wall right here and that let me throw some wire into there which is how we got these lights on right now but now to get the wire through all these guys because we're gonna have another light right there and then another one over there I'm basically gonna have to start feeding this Romex through a bunch of joists because in this case the joists are running this way so every single one of these blue pieces of tape I found a uh, joist using this thing a little magnet stud finder it literally just sticks onto the nail heads that uh, they use when they're nailing this thing in and so i know where all these things are so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut around all those things and then i'm going to feed my wire from here and basically jump it and then run it all the way through these guys and terminate one of them right here and another one right there so i'll show you guys how i do that um, the other tool that is super great to have when you do this stuff is an oscillating tool. So this guy right here might be loud, but it is very uh, great at getting you those kind of precise square cuts. I prefer it a lot to the uh, drywall knives or uh, what do you call those saws because those end up giving you pretty jagged edges. So for sake of having an easy hole to patch when we're done with this, highly recommend sticking to uh, you know, investing in one of these things because they're like, you know, 30 bucks or whatever. And uh, yeah, so we'll get started and uh, we'll check back in and see how this thing is going. All right guys, and here's what it's look like as we're going through this thing. And I basically just go up with a hammer and start kind of tapping on this just to get these things to start coming free. And uh, hit it from both sides. I'm trying to avoid hitting the wall around so we don't have to fix that. But eventually it kind of gets to a point where you can begin to pull it. There we go. Yeah, so that's what these pieces look like. And then they either hit these in or you can pull them out. I should do this with two hands, but uh, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, so basically what we're doing is we're gonna keep going down this road. And then I'm gonna drill a hole. I don't even care if it's perfect or not, I just need it to be kind of a little bit higher. And then when I put in the new drywall, I'm gonna put two screws that are in there so I miss the stuff that'll go right through the center. And I'll show you guys what that looks like in a little bit. All right guys, so what I did is I took my drill with a uh, three quarter inch spade bit on it. And uh, that's more than enough then for what I need for this 14.2 Romex, 14 gauge. But basically, now all I'm doing is throwing this wire through there. It's super simple. You can see if I pull that, it's, it's literally this easy. So you just get it right in there. Now when I have two hands, you just get it to there. And then I just stick it through that hole. And so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep drilling these holes through these guys all the way down. And then we're gonna connect up there and it will connect up to the power there. And then we'll patch these holes and I'm just gonna make a little note here that I've got a wire that goes straight through the middle of each one of these things so that when I'm screwing in my drywall, I'm gonna aim for the two far edges of this guy just so I miss it. So I don't, you know, 
drill through this wire, but that is how I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to keep on threading it through. It is coming along well, so basically I'm gonna have a pot light there. I'm gonna have another pot light here, and I'm just feeding this wire through all these joists, and it's coming well. And then I'm going to connect this wire to that junction box right there, and then we'll have it all good to go. So now that I've got the wires all through this uh, ceiling, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna take one of these guys, so. This is all you see on the top. It's connected to this box. Um, this is the uh, transformer. It takes the uh, 120 AC and turns into something that this LED can actually spit out. Also handles the uh, color temperature stuff, but I'm gonna knock out one of these holes. And this is honestly super <laughs> flimsy. It comes off just like that, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna use one of the Halex nuts and then I'm gonna basically daisy chain this guy to that. And then we're gonna do the same thing right there, add another light, and then a fourth light right down there. All right, this is how everything looks. Now we got it all bundled up, so I just close this little cup. All right, guys, so just daisy chain that guy to that guy, so we got this light wired up. And now I'm gonna come over to here and flip this on. And now I got this light on, and I'm just gonna do that again for that guy, and so it's, uh, that's it, so that's how we're, getting lighting in the ceiling for how we have no attic access. And uh, yeah, hope this helps.